Hey, how you doing fellow Minecrafters? This is uh, Minecraft Super Admin here. Um, I'm here to make a how-to uh, on how to compile Spigot 1.8, Craft Bucket, and Bucket um, in accordance to spigotsmc.org. So uh, the main reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people are having trouble compiling it. Uh, so I'm going to do a walkthrough for you guys. Okay pretty simple. Um, so first things first, um, if you have malware bytes like I do, uh, first thing you have to do is disable um, the, uh, you go here, you disable malicious website protection. Reason being is because this is going to be a new link that they put up and malware doesn't know about it. So it's going to wig out and won't let you download anything. Okay. So just temporarily disable this, you can enable it later on just like that <clears throat> okay so that part's done let's go to the website let's go to um, speakatmc.org um, let's click on this link right here by md5 and he tells you you need to go here to the hub speakat.org um, and then go to Jenks, Jenkins uh, you wait forever for it to load there you go. Okay, and what you will be doing is downloading this one. But I just want to show you something. Make sure you download the appropriate plugins because they updated a few of them um, for your server. Okay, because the ones on Craft Bucket will not work. But these right here will work with the 1.8. Okay. Okay, now that we're done with this, uh, let's go ahead and download this file. Okay, I'll start downloading here in a sec. It probably already downloaded. Yep, so uh, build tools to. So, what we need to do, um, I actually already created an empty folder. Okay, so delete this here. Yeah, um, I'm going to copy this. So, basically, I created this folder. Okay, and delete it so you can see. New, so you got to have an empty directory. I named it Spigot. You can name it whatever you want. And then you paste um, the build tools in here. I'm going to rename it back to just build tools because that's what you're going to see. Okay. So that portion is done. Good to go. Okay. Uh, next piece. Let's see what he has here. He tells you you, you got to make sure you have Java. So you download this one. Um, you gotta click accept. This is the development kit, okay? And then make sure you get the 64-bit one. I don't even know who, who uses 32-bit systems <laughs> anymore. If they do, okay, that's cool. Um, I understand. Uh, so you're gonna wait for it to download, and then uh, what you want to make sure where it's, while it's downloading is go to here programs and features okay if you don't see this it's because you're probably in category mode so switch to small icons or large icons and then go here programs and features and then what you do is you got to make sure you delete um, the oldest um, uh, development kit if you have one okay Actually, I would update everything to 8.25, which is the newest currently. I don't know what it probably will be when you're watching this, but just make sure you uninstall all this junk. Okay. So I'm going to uninstall it just to show and tell. So I'm, I'm removing um, my development kit, and I'm going to reinstall it here since it's already downloaded. Just so it's all, all step by step. Okay. So this is the one I just downloaded from the link from spigot uh, mc.org. It's going to install, do its magical thing. I don't want to move too fast because then I'll probably confuse people. Because there's, there's a lot of people that are having a lot of trouble compiling this. Uh, I need to restart. No. Yeah, I'll restart later. Anyways. So let's make sure it's here. 
Java. Java. Where's our Java? Uh, no Java. This can't be good. Run. Next, next. So this is how you install it. So I guess I did remove it. I just removed it, that's why. I... Wow, I'm tired. Anyways, so this is how you install it. It's the one we just downloaded, right? Let's load this thing. Do 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 and it's a good thing I have an SSD and an I7. Just click next. Let's do its magic. Should be fairly quick. Depending on your system. So it should tell you successfully. Yay, successfully installed. Close it. Um, let's verify. Java. There it is. It's there. Okay. So that portion is installed. Let's go here again. So uh, that's one variety. The other one is this thing. It's called the msys git. So just go ahead and install it. Download it. This is a requirement for actually compiling <sighs> the code. Okay, should be done. Come on, come on, come on. It's probably scanning it for viruses. Bam. Done. Press it. Run. Yeah, yeah. Install. Next, 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 next. Okay. Everything's default. You don't gotta do nothing crazy. So don't confuse yourself. <laughs> okay. This is almost done. Okay, so that portion is done. We release notes. No thanks. Okay, close. Okay, next one. So that part's done. Okay, now the actual instructions. Open a terminal. Okay, when this guy means a terminal, um, he's talking about okay the bash terminal. So since you just now installed the git tools, so you go to start git or wherever you have it, and you open git bash. Okay. Remember that directory we just made? Right here, the spigot on my desktop? Well, we gotta navigate to it from here. So, let's do that. Change the directory to um, desktop. Change the directory to spigot. Uh, and then in here, it wants you to run some commands. So let's do that. I'm going to move it over. I'll scroll down. So we have a 64 bit system, right? So right here. So we got to use this command right here. Boom. I don't like the way it's transitioning that. Okay. So copy. And then you just paste it in here. Oh, you can't. So what you have to do is right click on the top bar right here, edit, paste, and you just go enter. And the decompiling stuff, I mean the decompiling, <laughs> the compiling portion starts. And it might take a while. So, while it's running its HUA, I'm going to show you what, um, let's go to spigot here. So you can see it's actually um, downloading stuff already. Here's the source. The ones you really want is the target ones. Okay. Um, bam. Spigot. You can see all of it starting to download. It's magical. Let me close this. Okay. So let's just watch it do its thing. Okay. 
Do 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 do. It's almost there. Okay. So right now it's just downloading all the sources. That's what it's actually doing. And then once it downloads all the source code, it's going to compile it all. Uh, you can see it's pretty slow. I think it's just really busy because everybody in the stinking world wants wants this because it's so awesome. Okay, there it goes. Downloading more, more, more. Uh, and then it's downloading the Minecraft from Minecraft right here. It's their download site. About 200 kilobytes a second. There. Okay, now it's picking up. So it's basically downloading the uh, 1.8 jar for Minecraft. <sighs> Hopefully this is not too long. There it goes. So basically when it's done, um, it's going to put it in here. Your mapping final jar. Okay. And my processor just kicked in. It means it's starting to compile. Okay, there it goes. And let's see which one is it doing. Bucket, crap bucket. We might be doing which one? Decompiling. Two, 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 two. There's a lot of stuff has to go through. Server. Which one's it doing? Oh, okay. Just go nuts. Go, go, go. So this is giving you everything. As you can see, bucket, crack bucket, and spigot. And some other stuff. I don't know what it does. But for you that administer this, probably know better than I do. I'm just trying to get people to be able to get the uh, spigot.jar. Uh, starting clone. Oh, it's patching right here. So let's see which one did it patch. No, not that one. See how it has a SRC, you'll see a target directory, and that's the one that has all the goodies in it. Oh, there you go. It's building bucket. 1.8 snapshot. So this is when it when it's compiling it for you. I know this is going to be a little bit long, but boom. It did it. Now it's testing it. Make sure the tests are good. Um, basically, yeah. Trying to show you what it what it's actually doing. Build successful. This is what you want to see right here. Okay, so let's let's look at bucket. Boom. See target, and in here you have your bucket snapshot. This is the newest one um, that they have. So if you run bucket, this is the one you want. This is your jar for your server. Okay, so let's wait. It's doing crap bucket now. Uh, compiling. Do, do, do. Target. And the voila. There's your crap bucket one. And now it's doing, I think, spigot. Yeah, there it goes. So this is spigot. Is it built successful? Okay. And let's see. If we have your spigot one. It's doing all kinds of patching. Yeah, right here. Resetting spigot API to bucket. Fun times. 
and I have an i7, you can see it takes quite a bit, and I have an SSD drive, like one terabyte of SSD, and it's about a 500 meg throughput, and that's megabytes per second. I think it's just processor intensive. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Spigot server. Source. I believe that's where we're going to go when we need it. When it's done. Oh, it's a lot of features. It looks like these are all the different um, fixes and changes that were made to uh, 1.8 Spigot. Make sure it's compatible. Okay, almost there. Wow. Do 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 do. Fun times. Fix. Wow. MD5 and his team put a lot of work into this. <laughs> Just from seeing this list. This is ridiculous. And um, most plugins are working. There's just a few that are still lagging behind. Um, even though this is like day two. Um, and basically, the reason I decided to make this tutorial is because there's a lot of people complaining that um, they don't understand the instructions, and so I just decided to make a video to make it easier um, for folks who who don't understand the whole concept of compiling code and you know all, all these different uh, steps. It might be a little bit too complicated for them. So to make it easier, uh, that's why I made this video, or currently making. Uh, there it goes. Compiling. Boom, boom, boom. Building, building, building. There it goes. Now it's going to go crazy. Uh, compiling 660 source files. It's a lot. Okay, looks like it's done. Testing results. Building spigot snapshot. He hasn't created it yet, but this is where you're going to get your spigot, right here. Okay, so if you go to your original folder, let's see if it's done. Okay, it might be done already. So you go to spigot, spigot server, target, and there it is already. Shaded, that's a new one. I haven't seen this one yet. Sorry, I just downloaded this, so it's kind of cool. I don't know what this means, but um, I believe the one you want is this one. Oh, it's unmapped. Okay. Yeah, you want this one. Spigot 1.8. There's your jar. Uh, and there you go. This is how you know when it's done. Okay. It gives you sp uh, success on everything. Okay. Good to go. All right. So let's test it. Make sure it works. Okay. Just to prove my point. Let's go. Uh, here, my awesome terabyte of SSD. Minecraft folder. Uh, I'm going to paste it in here. There you go. I'm going to delete my spigot. It's the same thing, but I'm going to delete it just so you can see. I'm going to rename this to spigot. Uh, let's be that jar. Okay, and then here's my startup. Okay, if you want to see it, it's pretty cool. Pretty basic um, stuff here. But basically, that's you're you're starting up the spigot jar. That's all that means. Okay, this is kind of a loop thing that I made uh, to prevent from server from crashing. So, just double click it, uh, and let's see, let's see what happens. And there it goes. Boom. And it's launching the server. Um, and these are the plugins I got on it. So you could see. Uh, where is it? 
plugins. I have a lot. Lots. And lots of plugins. Let's see. I know this one works. This one. This one. This one does not work. This one works. This one works. This one works. Uh, this one kind of works. They fixed it. They updated it. But my old NPCs are not showing up. But when you create new ones, it's fine. So it depends on you. It depends up to you. This one works. This one works. This one, I think they're they've updated it, but the link doesn't work yet. So it's coming. Uh, this one is the updated one. It works. This one does not work. Um, this one works. Dynamap's not ready yet, so anything with Dynamap's not gonna work. Uh, Essentials is the ones I downloaded from Spigot itself. And as you can see, it loaded up, right? Uh, factions updated. Uh, Locket works. LWC uh, jobs. Uh, it works, but it's got some issues. Um, Massive Core obviously works. MCMMO. All of these work. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if Mobberina works, but I remove craft. Actually, I think they do work. I didn't see errors, so you can, if you want to know which ones work, it's pretty easy. Um, you go to your main folder and just go to logs, open up the latest, um, and just go through it, and it will show you error right here, like Blood Moon. Error occurred while enabling Blood Moon. Okay, and it disabled itself. Okay, let's see some more. Let's see. A curdle ruin craft doesn't work. So they gotta update their stuff. Let's see. Another one here. There's a severe error. Craft book. Dynamat. All that good stuff worked. Uh Dynamat. I'm telling you, like most of the stuff works. So, and it's still loading the rest of it, obviously. So, you can see a lot of stuff actually already works. Um, it's only a few plugins that don't work. So, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and it'll really help you to get your server up to par um, to 1.8 Spigot, or Craft Bucket, or Bucket. Okay? Um, thanks for watching, and you all take care.